Hello everyone, my name is Dan and welcome back to my channel. And today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your phone into your Unify TV. Let's go. So to connect your phone into your Unify TV is actually we're going to use an app called Airmore. Not sponsored but it's just a good app to actually connect your phone into another devices so you can transfer transfer your files into another device maybe into your pc or laptop or another phone so yeah that's really great so you can download this app in play store and also in the app store so it supports both devices android and ios so yeah i'm not really sure if it supports iOS, hopefully, or else I'm just embarrassing myself right now. Well, yeah, I think you can download it in the App Store. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Also, I'm just gonna say this tutorial is more suitable for the people that have the enable unknown source problem. So, if you don't know, the enable unknown source problem is usually, uh, usually happen to the new user that just bought Unify TV. Because if you just bought Unified TV this year, you're gonna have you're gonna have the new updated version of Unified TV that that it don't have the my application place, you know, and they also block us from enable the unknown source when you try to install APK in it. So yeah, that's very very annoying. But even though it, it, it's not really fixing the problem. This video is actually not fixing the problem, but I guess it's better than nothing, I guess. So, before this tutorial is going to start, you guys can also check out my community tab in my channel. You guys can also subscribe to me, so whenever I post something in the community, it will show in your subscription. Pretty great, am I right? And also, if you feel like this video helped you guys, then please click the like button and you guys can also share this video to your friends that also use Unify TV. So, I guess let's start the tutorial, shall we? So first of all, what you need is a mouse and a keyboard that support Windows. So if you don't know how to connect it to your Unify TV box, I have another video showing on how to connect it. So the video gonna be on the link in the description below, so make sure you guys check it out. So after you connect it, now what you need to do is just go to your keyboard and press the Windows button and the B button in the same time. So just press it in the same time and it will open up the browser app. So now as you can see, just move your mouse and type in, and type in the link right here, um, web.mo.com and then just press enter. So now it will show you the QR code and what you need to do is actually go to your phone and open up Airmore app as well and then just make sure to click scan to connect and then it will open up a camera and just use the camera and aim at the QR code into the box. And as you can see it will scan really quick so you don't really need to wait a long time for it to connect. So now after you have connected, you can see this is my phone right here. This is all of for, and this is all the information about my phone. So um anyway, here you can see at the left there's pictures, document, music, files, videos, reflector, and all other cool stuff that you guys can check it out. But right now, uh, I'm just gonna go and click on the videos, and I'm gonna show you guys the video that I just downloaded. So I'm gonna play it. So. As you can see it will open up the default player for the browser and let me just warn you guys first the player for the default browser is very bad okay just gonna warn you guys so um this video is actually a video that i post in my youtube channel um it's about me reviewing about the new unified tv interface so link gonna be on the description below you, so if you guys want to check it out um anyway and you can see if you're when you're done watching the video 
um, just press on the back button on your remote and as you can see you, there will be like this black screen right here like like the player didn't exit fully and what you need to do is just to press is just press the back button again and it will actually go back to the Google search and then just and just you need to just click on the forward button and then you need to connect it again I know it's kinda annoying but that's, that's just how it is you know because the default browser is kinda suck but yeah uh, I think I'm gonna leave this video right here I hope this video helped you guys if it helped then please click the like button and if you guys want more videos about my channel then how about click the subscribe button I would truly appreciate it if you guys do that and I guess I'll see you guys later bye guys so do you guys like my new lighting I, I actually like look okay darker BAM surprise surprise I'm actually um um it's actually pretty um simple I actually just use a torchlight and I put a calendar right here so when I open it it will shine it will light the calendar and the calendar paper is like it will shine into my face it's like you, you, you guys know what I mean I, I, I'm not really good at explaining stuff okay I, I, I'm not even good in science okay my science fail I fail in science class okay so shut up but I, f I feel so proud by you by doing this stuff okay okay I never do this kind of stuff before and it actually works so just wanna tell you guys about that so yeah bye <laughs>